Hello React Native Developers, I hope you are well. William here recording from beautiful Zurich, Switzerland. In this video, we're gonna look at the spring animation for swiping cards around. So here, I mean, the snap point is not correct. We need to fix this. And we would like to have a nice uh, animation when, you know, swiping one card, we want to bring the remaining cards to the foreground with a really nice transition. That's why here in card, we use the adaptable, right now it's a fixed number, right? But we want to have like a nice animation value to drive the animation. And we want, so we've done the Tinder example, swipe example twice on this channel. And you've been many asking me how can we, if we swipe to the left or to the right, how can we execute the side effect of changing the state of the component very quickly? Because if, so let me reload here. If we snap the card to the center, you see the animation takes a lot of time. Maybe also right now you don't see it, but it's still internally moving because it's like only, uh, you know, decimal point values. If we snap here, we don't see anything that is happening. So it feels like the user is waiting, like what is going on? It, does, it almost feels also like maybe there is a bug because you really want to apply the side effect immediately. And so what we're going to do is that we are going to write our gesture to use a different spring configuration depending on where we snap the card. So if we snap the card to the center, you have this nice bouncing effect, very cool. But if we snap to the left or to the right, we want the animation to finish very early. And so we want the spring configuration with rest displacement threshold very high, red speech, speed threshold very high. And I think uh, overshoot clamping to true uh, wouldn't hurt as well. And so that's what we're gonna do. And um, yeah, let's just uh, jump into it. So I'm gonna create some cards. So maybe four, five, and um, so they'll have an index. Maybe we do five, four, uh, let's do four. And we want, so to have index zero, one, two, Free. So the last component, the last element in the array is we're going to use map is going to be the first on the stack. So that's why we start at zero. And so here's the order matters and we're going to have a state. So which is going to be current index, set current index, use state. So we start at zero and we want to transition on the current index. So we would have animated index is use transition on current index. So every time current index changes, if it goes from zero to one, a animated index will go, will animate from zero to one. So we have 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 .1. And then you can configure if you want to use a spring animation, a timing animation, and you can pass the configuration that you want. So. We have our animated index, use transition from redash, use state, and um, we're gonna map on our cards, the cards, and uh, so we have an index. And um, if, if index, is greater or equal than current index. Yeah, greater or equal than current index. We return the component, right? Because if the, for instance, the first card we discard, we don't want to display it anymore. So um, then we have the card component. Uh, actually, yeah, okay, whatever. Um, so we have current index, position we can interpolate. So uh, depending on index, imp 
input range. So we go from animated index to the last, so card length minus one. Output range goes from zero to one. And we need the key, which would be index. Now we need to, okay. Now we need to apply the side effect to actually change the index. So on swipe, uh, on swipe, we increase the current index. By one, prev, prev plus one. So that gives us here. Yeah. So this becomes a node. We don't pass numbers anymore. And so this one is on swipe. And so here on the X axis, we have on snap and we want to make sure if we didn't snap to zero. So we like X here. If X is different than zero, we can execute on swipe. Uh, which we get as a property. So here, a snap, the side effect is going to take a while to be executed. Here, it's not even executed at all. Oh, it's not, sorry, wrong operator. It's and okay so it takes a while but we're going to fix this and then the card animates nicely to the front so but you see i mean that's one way to do it and it's like so simple but i want to show you uh, another way to do it which is pretty fun and also here, I think, because here we have the same value for the last one. So it uh, was a bit uh, janky. So, but I mean, that's like pretty quick and nice way to do it. Another way we can do it is that here, uh, current index doesn't go to from zero to the index of the last card, but we will go from zero to one zero being the first card and uh, one being the last one. And so to select the second one, we create a step. So that would be uh, zero times step is the first one, one times step is the second one and so on. So we would have one divided by cards length minus one, okay? So that's the increment here we will have for each new index so we would have actually not step plus one but step here we want to display the component if the current index is less than index times step plus one plus step so index i mean sorry index times step plus step which i guess is equivalent to index plus one no Okay, and here the position becomes uh, we subtract to, uh, so that would be index time step and we subtract current index. So let's have a look. So here you see. I mean, what I like about this one, so a bit more complicated to calculate. What I really enjoy about this one is that you really have all the card moving. Yeah, I mean, it's it's the one I, I prefer, but the other solution is much simpler. And uh, yeah, 
I mean, you have both solutions. You, you pick the one you like, but what we need to fix now is the gesture because we want to apply a different configuration depending on where we snap. And that's perfect because I love to write these functions. So we are not gonna use with spring from redash. So we are gonna create our own with spring function. So we're gonna create a file called animations. And um, yeah, I'm gonna put it here. So let's create this with spring function. We get a bunch of parameters here. Um, let me so we get so let me do with spring params. So this, please bear with me while we do a little bit of typing. There is a bit of boilerplate to do here. So interface, so we would have value, animated node, velocity, Um, states St an animated node of state from Re React Native Gesture Handler, perfect. Snap points, uh, which are numbers, and on snap, which uh, receives. So we can call it point or value. I mean, values because it's a receiving parameter from the call animation node. And I think that's something like read only number. Okay. So we have value velocity, state, we're gonna call it gesture state to not, because we're gonna have a variable called state, which is the state of the animation. So gesture state, snap points on snap. So we, uh, and I guess have some syntax error here. And we are not still syntax error or Okay. I don't know why it doesn't, because of this one. Perfect. Still some boilerplate to be done. We need a clock. So we're gonna do new clock. I'm actually thinking to use I was thinking here of using it, use spring. And here, you know, uh, we use use clock because we don't want to recreate these every time. Let me do this. So we will have use spring. Use spring. So clock, use clock, then we, you know, we use one for the whole lifestyle of the lifetime of the components, which I guess is really what we want to do. Okay. We need a state. So we'll have uh, position, use value, finished, use value. Uh, time, use value, and um, velocity. And we need a configuration. So 
So let me get one. So we would have a use value here. And these are going to become animation value because we're going to change them depending on where we snap. So this becomes use value zero. Use value zero, zero, one. And this is going to be our default configuration. So now let's write the animation so I can just try to block where we return state dot position and we need we need we need we need a clock and we need the offset value so offset equals use so three states if the gesture begins state again, and it's not state, but gesture state. So that's where, for these kinds of things, uh, TypeScript is perfect. So set offset is state.position. We remember where, the, where we were, so we can also make the uh, animation interruptible. And okay. if the gesture is active, the we assign to the position the offset plus the, the value, so which is the translation of the gesture. So offset plus value. So already we should see something. Oops. Did I lose? No. Okay. So, okay, but now if we end, we need to snap somewhere. But so far, so good. And he also remembers where we are when we start the gesture again. So that looks actually pretty good. Now, if the gesture ends, if the gesture ends, we spring. Spring, so clock. Uh, state, continue. We start the clock. We, here, we want to assign, so const, uh, so set config to value is snap where we snap and to decide where we snap there is a utility function from redash to help us make this decision which is called snap snap point and i think the parameters are so that would be state position state velocity and the snap points, which we get as parameter. And here, so we need to assign, so position is assigned, we need to assign velocity. So the state velocity is velocity. That's good, snap point we import from redash. That's good as well. Um, we spring from reanimated. If we start the gesture, we want to stop the clock. If the gesture was finished, we want to reset state dot finished to zero. And state 
state.time to zero. So our state here should be nicely snap points. We need to fix here. It's not with, but it's Windows with. Okay. So now we need to apply to invoke on snap and then change the configuration depending on where we snap. So um, when the state is finished, so when state finished, if on snap exists, we call on the position, we pass the position as parameter on snap. No, it does not like it. Should be end. Yeah, I, why, I, you know, I stop, I stop, yeah, exactly. I, I'm misusing the double interrogation mark operator. Uh, I just got so excited to discover it. So here we go back to zero. Here we snap. Side effect is executed, but of course you see it took a tremendous amount of time, which we don't want. So we're gonna update these values here, depending on where we snap. So if config two value is zero, we use the default configuration. So that would be this one. So we would have set config dot overshoot clopping to zero. Here we'll have zero, zero, one. 001 rest speed threshold rest displacement threshold so that's all good and well and if if we snap to the left or to the right we go crazy 200 here 200 I'm having some syntax error. Up. Okay. So let's see. See, that was very fast. That's very fast. Uh, maybe you see 200 was a bit too much. Maybe say 100. But that's that's actually pretty cool. Yeah, that's. I think that's better. So now, I mean, you see, it's really not that difficult, right? So it's like begin active and and now we can uh why so this one on snap i think i should mark it as here option perfect and uh, maybe we can add some pictures and for now we could use the pictures from Maybe I call it source from the onboarding screen. And maybe offline, I will try to export some new images. So do we have authentication, assets, PNG. Two, three. We can pass source 
as parameter. And um, so, yeah. Source. So, source is a number, but I think there is a image require, require source. Just looks cleaner. I mean, it's an alias for number. But here, like, you know what it is. It, you know it's not something you you know what it you should be using it for and uh, so let's just let's do just that so we're gonna do image source is source and have a style we're gonna have style shit absolute fill object and if you want some proper adjustments you need to set width and height to undefined. Image comes from React Native. And we want to have overflow done here. But what, okay, I mean, so that's a bit boring. What we want to do, I think, is also here animate the scale, scale of the image. And yeah, let's do that. Transform scale is image scale and so so maybe on position also we would have like 1.2 1 or yeah let's see Um, this would be animated image. Mm. I mean, that's kind of cool. I just actually don't like that we see the images behind let me see i mean we could add also some opacity i guess hmm you know what let me sorry let me pass step as parameter and we're going to interpolate it from the step. So we have a step, which is a number. Oops, what am I doing? Step, which we get here in card. And so we're going to interpolate it. So we have and we can also interpolate, we can add some opacity to it. So here we interpolate. So we have a step. Input range, we go from zero to step. So front to back. Input range, in front it's at one. When it's at the back, it's at five. Zero, eight. Um, extrapolate clamp. I mean, actually, doesn't matter, I guess. No. Okay. 
no, it's not interpolate on step, it's interpolate on position. Okay. No, that was correct. I guess it was like, uh, yeah, which makes sense. Zero, it's one. Or is it? Maybe it's another issue. Okay. Uh, <laughs> sorry. I'm getting up. Okay. Yeah, I think. Or, alternatively, I don't like that. Maybe we can do 1.21. Isn't that cool? So I will try to export other images. And here, obviously, we we lose some of the resolution. But I think we can fix this quite easily. I will need to export some images uh, offline. That was the animation part of uh, this UI kit. I hope you enjoyed it. It's, I think, very convenient now to learn how we can switch the configuration of the spring in case we need to, you know, the in case the object is outside the screen and we need to apply a side effect quite quickly. And uh, I really like the transition, uh, you know, with the cards moving forward and we, sh we looked at two solutions to implement it. So I am really looking forward to see you in the next video. And in the meantime, happy hacking. Yeah.